we mustn't talk about community only as a as a now. It's not a self-standard now. And as a correct stand, say it is a bad word. Mm-hmm. When we say community, we say we commune. We interact with each other. We share in life together. We make community. We create community. Where community is now, it's almost passive. Community as verb is immediately active, even activistic. Here to help me, you are wasting your time. 
But if you have come here because your liberation is bound up with mine, then let us work together. And I think that's the thing, this thing of community, if we can recognize that our liberation is bound up in the liberation of each other's, then we won't, we won't be okay just living our lives while there's this kind of segregation that we see. We won't be okay just living our lives while there's inequality and people who are suffering without access to land and access to healthcare. We won't be okay while some have so much and others have so little. And I feel like that's the thing that we need to restore and that's the biblical mandate for justice that needs to be restored. Because that's actually held in so much of scripture, that's so much of what Jesus did when he came to earth. Jesus positioned himself um, within a community that was oppressed. Um, he was Jewish in the Ro Roman Empire, so he was, he was actually a marginalized group and a um, trampled down group within this, in this time of a lot of oppression. So he sided himself with the marginalized and with, with the people who needed the most help and out of that place um, pushed towards this place of justice for all. And I think um, scripture is full of this invitation for us to enter in, into this place of community where community is not this um, segregated thing that's just geographical but it's actually community where all are invited and all are included. And when we recognize that we actually can't be fully who we are um, and fully who God has created us to be until everyone actually gets that opportunity.